All right, this is my saddle. Um, the one I mostly use anyways, it's, uh, it's a uh, calf roping saddle that I bought, used about eight years ago. Um, you can see it's a calf roping saddle because of A, the, uh, the low cantle, as well as this alignment right here of the saddle, allowing you to stand up in your stirrups straight and lean forward. The pommels are present, but they're definitely not bronc busters. They're just uh, give you a little bit of leg support, but not a ton. And likewise, like I said, the low cantle is there, is uh, in, in use in this sense that you can swing your leg on and off pretty easy. At least that's what I would imagine. I got my latigo here. I have these extra wide or wider stirrups, um, hobbles. Back over here I have my cinch. Another latigo on the other side. I thought that was interesting rather than a, your standard billet strap. Uh, two latigos, I would assume, meant that give you the option to center fire your cinch on either side um, as needed. The size of the seat is a 16, 16 and a half, as you can see. The width of the forks, about, about there I would say, is about a 7 inches, 7 and a half, something like that. Um, good little saddle. I've used it a lot. It's made by Gary Dunchy of Alpine, Texas, our local saddle maker extraordinaire. And, um, all right, in a minute here, I'm going to throw it on the horse. I have a horse here, and we're going to see how she fits. Okay, so what I did here is I just threw the saddle on. Um, I haven't adjusted it yet. It's just sitting there. I have my, my latigo is ready to go making sure my hobbles, nothing is under there, pinching under the skirt. Pull up the strings. Step around behind her. Make sure my cinch is in good shape. Release the buckle. And now what I'm gonna do is adjust the blanket to the to the saddle itself let's see if I can do this so I'm going to slide it forward everything forward then ease it back into its natural sweet spot I'm going to also try to get a little more blanket off of her flank and a little bit more up on her withers the sweet spot on this horse is back a bit and when you put it just like so you see how the top of the cantle the sorry the pommels and the top of the cantle are actually relatively level <clears throat> the pommel itself you have your three to four finger height above the tops of her withers and back here you can see how the center of the saddle is not riding on her flank hopefully and not rubbing on her croup or anything like that now this horse is uh, she's pretty small bodied she's not very thick I think this saddle was intended for your your smaller to average size horses it's not a large one it's uh, I've used it on a bunch of horses it's fit them all pretty well and that's why I like to use it for my most day-to-day -day work she is uh, not the ideal fit for the saddle but um, for the most part it it does work out pretty good here's a picture from the back you can see the back of the saddle is riding up just a little bit. And over on this side, I'll show you where the top of her withers are, which is right here. 
the cinch, once I cinch her up, is going to be a few inches back from the point of the elbow, not directly in the crook of the arm. And of course, the buckle on the cinch here is going to be tucked away neatly once I'm done saddling her. Um, let me do these little things and I will make another short clip of it. Okay, now <clears throat> I have her girth on just a bit. <clears throat> and I mentioned these uh, pins earlier. Now what I like to do, I don't like to tie the latigo up. I like to actually stick it in here and pull it snug to lock it. And then this side is my offside. And so I'm actually just gonna thread, this one I might actually tie, maybe when I have two hands. But I make sure that pin's locked, and I'll make sure that, like that, that it's out of the way. Over on this side, I mentioned the girth. The distance from the actual point of the elbow here and where the girth lies, the girth is not riding directly in her armpit because that would put the center of the saddle directly over her withers, too far forward, despite popular uh, belief, which you see out there a lot. Stirrups, everything out of the way. I'm gonna snug this down a little bit, just a little bit, that is, and I'm going to tighten it with one hand, somehow, like that. Did you see how that pin just clicked in? That's how I like it. And this I'll either thread through the top or through the loop here. And in that event, we are saddled.